How's it going guys? So I started a video on this oh, two months ago. It started making horrible bearing noises um, when you're using it and squealing it. Yeah, there's my uh, one of my 1.5 amps. Anywho, um, yeah, making horrible bearing noises and getting warm up in the top of the case. All right, this beast is the Milwaukee catalog number 088020. It is a uh, two gallon or seven and a half litre vacuum cleaner. So what we started doing was uh, working our way inside to get to the motor itself. We'll get rid of that, we don't need that bit. find out uh, what size or breed of uh, bearing we actually need. You know, what I didn't have when I first started the video was one of these. This is a uh, T10? T10. Torx T10. So I couldn't get any of these. After some colourful language, I'm pretty sure helped my cause. We are on the inside. And on the inside we have a brushed motor, quite possibly 12 volts. It's not uncommon, they build it but a step down in. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is, is a voltage step down. There's a bearing in the top of this, but I reckon it's the bearing in the front of it that's grumbly. So uh, let's get the volute undone, which is these one, two, three, four, five, six Phillips head screws. Okay, then let's give you a look at it. This is our vacuum's in power. It's actually made out of aluminium. It has hair and stuff stuck in it, which probably caused it to become unbalanced. It could be the source of the noise. There's not too much bearing free play, but there's enough. We've got a second bearing in the back of the motor here, and just pressed into the case. So I hope it's not that one that's playing the noisy game. I can't feel either of them. I've got a seriously big fan in here. Nice big brush holder. And something I want to make clear is that um, this is by no way me um, picking on the Milwaukee product because this thing gets used by me daily if not on every job every second or third job for sure um, to clean up water, spills, leaks if I get to someone's house leaking there's a, a sink that's been leaking under the, in the cupboard and the cupboard's all full of water or whatever I'll spend 10 minutes with this sucking it all up so the cupboard doesn't go rotten so this thing's yeah, it's done a lot of a lot of stuff like sucking up water and uh, that kind of thing. Now this is the second one of these I bought. I bought one about five years ago when they first came out. Um, but uh, I sold that one off with uh, with a lot of bearing noise as well. But that one died because I used to suck up a lot of concrete dust with it. Okay, so we've got the 9.0 battery in there. Yeah, all we should have to do is touch these two together and it'll go. That's just the switch's context. Let's see if I can find my little tripod. Alright, we've got the tripod because I know we need talented enough to do three things at a time. Just expose these two conductors. Holy shit, they spin. Okay, front bearing. Definitely can hear it clear as day. Let's see if I can undo this in power. Get that battery out 
just in case they put it together. Geez, that must be one hell of a switch that puts up with that turning on. This aluminium impeller is basically press fitted on, so like a brass, a brass spigot here. Motor's very tight. Not sure if it's just an armature kind of thing or whether it's something wrong with it. Let's get this undone. Worst case, if I can't fix the bearings in this DC motor, I will buy another one of these vacuum cleaners anyway. So that's where the motor fixes into the front there. I shouldn't have ever started pulling it apart. I started pulling it apart months ago. I should have just taken it in for a warranty claim. But yeah, live and learn. Okay, so there's a rubber boot on the front edge here. Let's see if we can get this brass. Depends on staying where he is. I might just pull that rubber boot out. See if we can't stretch it over. Yeah, you can hear it. Definitely the front bearing. Let's see if we can run it slowly while I'm injecting some uh, some lube into it. It's only running at about 3 volts.
Yep, fair to say the bearings all possibly even a bushing in the front of this motor. You can't actually see in there, it could just well be a bushing. That's why it's cooked. Unfortunately for this thing, I think it's all over. It does give us a uh, 18 volt to 12 volt step down. And uh, make for an interesting video to see what's inside, but it's um, a bit sad. And the next one I get, I won't, uh, I won't open, I'll make sure it goes back as a warranty job. Um, like I say, it's probably got 50 plus hours of use on it. It does a lot of work. Um, like I've got a lot of batteries I don't have to stop. I can just go change, change, change and just keep punching batteries into it. Um, I'll just show you what it does when you get up towards 12 volts. As you can hear, it sounds terrible. Then by the way, the WD-40 in the syringe, by the way. Then by the way, that goes in and just disappears in there. What's just going on with it? I could be using a little motor for something that's non-critical. Just like put a little polishing moth or something on like, like that for doing stuff in the shed. So we won't throw it in the bin, but uh, unfortunately it's a case of rest in peace vacuum cleaner. I'll wait till they're on sale again. We're around Christmas time, I'd say. And uh, I'll have to grab another one. Thanks for watching YouTube. Unfortunately, this is the end of it. Got any questions? I'm going to look at something else inside it. We might have a play with the step down another time. But, uh, still have heaps of brushes left too. It's like 15 mil of brushes left. Anyhow, thanks heaps for watching guys. Catch you next time.